All right, with all the preseason games played and the final rosters announced and training camp wrapping up, we will be getting into the final positional preview for the Blue Jackets for this upcoming season in the goaltenders. Now, the goalie position hasn't quite been the steady presence that perhaps we had gotten used to with Bobrovsky in the past couple of years with Bobrovsky and then Corpy and Elvis seem to be holding things down for a little bit, but it's been a little shaky on that front. Corpusalo was tremendous for the Blue Jackets last year, but we kind of knew he would be dealt for draft capital at the trade deadline, and now he's signed in the offseason with the Senators. So what does that leave us with? Well, Elvis Merzlikens projects to be the starter. He is coming off of his worst season in the NHL, had an 876 save percentage at 4.23 goals against average and 30 games played. And if you're, if you're thinking, though, well, that's just the basic stats, the advanced stats aren't any friendlier to Elvis Merzlikens as well. He still has four years left on a contract that has a $5.4 million cap hit. At this current moment, his contract is unmovable. And it's kind of a little, I guess, paradoxical, but there's probably a better word for it. But if Elvis starts to play better and live up to that contract, the Blue Jackets probably don't want to trade him. However, if he doesn't, the Blue Jackets would definitely want to move him but there wouldn't be any any team that would accept that contract. So if he doesn't pick up his play, there could be a scenario where he gets bought out of this contract as early as next offseason, which I think the organization wants to avoid like the plague. You don't want three years of a $5.4 million cap hit that's going to be on your books for six years. You don't really want to have that happen. Now, hopefully, you know, the defense getting improved and a new goaltending coach in Nicholas Backstrom turns it around for Elvis. He definitely knows how to say the right things. He, he says he's taking a uh, an approach where he pretty much was in Columbus. He didn't play for Team Latvia in the offseason. He, he pretty much just trained for his upcoming season for the Blue Jackets. He did have a very fun to read interview on The Athletic with Aaron Portsline recently. And but, but the words that he says when he says all the right things, that is going to ring a little bit hollow if it isn't paired with noticeable improvement. Now, he did look solid in the Blue Jackets' last preseason game against Washington. Had a bit of an up-and-down training camp, though. Preseason results, even though, again, sometimes it was shaky, sometimes it was solid. I don't think, I'm not going to take any of the preseason results into account when looking at what Elvis will do for this regular season. I Again, I'm, I'm hoping that the, the defensive core gets better. Elvis isn't try, having to constantly make grade A saves and, and or move back and forth between the posts. Hopefully that can keep his mind calm because we've seen the past couple of seasons that when he starts playing nervous, it, he gets really out of position really easy, trying to rely way too much on his athleticism and not his positioning. So hopefully a better defensive core and a new goaltending coach will clean up some of his bad habits and get, get that save percentage back to where we're used to seeing Elvis. Now, some a goaltender that I can't really evaluate the training camp performance of is Daniil Tarasov, as he ha was injured with a knee injury and missed all of training camp. And that's been the story of his early career with the Blue Jackets. Still has two years left on his contract with a $1.05 million cap hit. He'll start the season on IR. The Blue Jackets have wanted to give him long runs as a starting goaltender in Cleveland down in the AHL to get him better prepared for this, but injuries have just gotten in the way every single time. He has shown flashes of being a solid goalie in the NHL. He has had nice games before. Nothing consistent enough for me to put like full-fledged faith in, though I still think it's kind of a mystery as to what Daniil Tarasov will be in the NHL. I mean, for what it's worth, he had an, a, a, a .92 save a .892 save percentage and 3.91 goals allowed in 17 appearances last season at the NHL level, which isn't good numbers, but even Corpus Allo's basic numbers did look pretty mediocre behind last year's defense. Overall, again, it's way too early to tell what Daniil Tarasov will be moving forward. I think the Jackets want to get him healthy as quickly as possible and and get him ramped up into being that, that backup goaltender to Elvis Merzlikens, and they're going to see if that one works. But there is also a new face for the Columbus Blue Jackets, and that is Spencer Martin. He was claimed off of waivers from Vancouver. Very late addition in camp. He did have a, a, a solid preseason game in there, but again, like I said, with preseason results, not really worth reading into those too much. Aaron Dell was on the Blue Jackets on a tryout contract. However, he was released on that PTO very quickly after Spencer Martin was claimed has one year left on his contract slightly above league minimum cap hit I really don't think the Blue Jackets see him as a long-term option but for someone who can fill in while Daniil Tarasov gets back to health not 
uh, terrible, although he is looking for a bounce back season himself. 0.871 save percentage, 3.99 goals against average. Not he didn't he didn't cross that four goals though. So a little bit of an improvement from from what Elvis had last year as far as goals against average. And he had 29 games played. Very similar numbers to Elvis with Tarasov again still injured. He's going to start the season as the backup to Elvis Merzlikens. Uh, so the Blue Jackets could be rolling into the into the year with a goaltending tandem that features arguably the two worst goalies last season, which we can talk all we want about the defense getting better and new goaltending coaches, and it can't possibly be worse than last year. But that, I think that's still a bit of a of a of a it's it's definitely a struggle for me to get past. You know, looking at Elvis Merzlikens and, and Spencer Martin's numbers and heading into the season where the Blue Jackets definitely need to see some kind of. Uh, results for uh, a growth in the results as far as just the pure wins and losses maybe not even make the playoffs but show some some signs of moving forward and this goaltending group still needs to prove that they can carry their own weight I think that's going to be uh, crucial for not just this season but for the Blue Jackets moving forward into the long-term future as well now at the AHL level you have Jet Greaves who had a very solid training camp uh, people with access to the camp practices. Some of them are saying that he very well could have been the best goaltender in the offseason, in preseason games and training camp, which is encouraging, but he is still very young. No reason to rush him into a situation that he might not be ready for as far as getting consistent action in the NHL. He did. He um, He's in the final year of his entry-level contract. He did play in one NHL game last season against his hometown Toronto Maple Leafs. Uh, Columbus did lose that game, but Jack Reeves was impressive in that in that action, putting up a 939 save percentage despite giving up three goals. So he faced a lot of shots, didn't let too many of them in relatively. Organization probably definitely wants to keep him in Cleveland for the year if they can. But he has shown that he can definitely play in a pinch if needed. Uh, I do hope he signs another contract after the season. I think I feel like he could be a really solid number three goaltender in the lo- in the short term as I don't think they're going to give up a spot for Merzlikens or Tarasov unless, again, Merzlikens just has another terrible year and he's bought out. Um, although he could get, even get some consistent NHL time in the long term if he signs like a two or three year deal Jet Greaves could definitely be a consistent member of the rotation if some things don't work out with the Blue Jackets current NHL level goaltenders and Jet Greaves could slide in there and I I feel like he could be pretty solid for the time being then you have Nolan Lalonde also down in Cleveland three years left on his entry-level deal and it can slide again it it slid once before that entry-level deal can slide again if he stays down in Cleveland which even if there's an injury emergency I'm pretty sure Nolan Nolan Lalonde will not see NHL minutes this year. So that's going to be it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you didn't make it this far into it, let me know what you think about the Blue Jackets goaltenders down in the comments below as they gear up for the 2023-24 season. Leave a like and a subscribe if you enjoyed the video and you'd like to see more like it. I will see you at the next one.